Bros, we the play bench of Bros Freaks of YouTube. I have chills right now. Welcome to Bomberman 64 on my Wii U. Because, uh, eShop day is coming. The day it ends. And since this was not announced for the Nintendo Switch Online program, I decided to buy it for my Wii U. If it comes later, so help me. But whatever. Let's just do this. This is a game that I had played in my past. And it is time I showcased it on my channel in the best quality possible. Unfortunately, Bomberman Heroes probably isn't going to get that. Um, same treatment, unfortunately, but let's take a look at the story. It looks like energy is being absorbed out of Planet Bomber. And is being absorbed into this cube, but for what purpose? Mission complete. Great job! Well, we've certainly cleaned up this planet. What's our next target? Oh wait, that's not Planet Bomber. That is Planet Bomber! That was just the planet that had already suffered. But unfortunately now, Planet Bomber is being targeted. At least I think it's called Planet Bomber. Sorry if I'm saying the wrong thing. Speaking of Bomber, man, there he is! Whatever is going on, it is not good. It is causing chaotic planet plasma. That's not worth it. It's causing chaos! Death and destruction happening everywhere. Farmer man can't just sit here and watch. Oh wait, who's that? Do you plan to defeat them? Then I'll let you in on a secret. I've got a bone to pick with them. Because of the force field, there's no way you'll be able to get near, let alone get in the central base. But if you destroy the four anchors to the base, the field will be deactivated and you can destroy the base from within. It's asking too much to have you go alone, so I'll give you a hand! I had no control over how fast that text was. So I'm just glad I was able to say it all together. Here we go! We've got Green Garden, Blue Resort, Red Mountain, and White Glacier. And I'm having to figure out what controls the press because the D-pad doesn't work. So let's start off at Green Garden Stage 1. Untouchable Treasure. I'm here to help, just like I promised. First, I need to teach you some basic moves. You move the control stick a little to walk and a lot to run. Keep in mind that you should walk when you're in closed in, dangerous areas. But feel free to run in open, safe areas. Press the A button to set a bomb. The bomb will soon go BOOM! And move away from the bomb so you don't get burned. A pot, I guess, or a block can be destroyed with a bomb. Items can may uh, appear from the destroyed objects, so blown up as blow up as many objects as you can. When you find a suspicious area, set a bomb there or stand on top of it. It could be a special switch. There is a large red gem in this ruin, which is protected by a magical barrier. Step on the four switches to release the barrier. That's it for now. You can talk to me by pressing the B button. My name is Cyrus, a name you should remember. Oh yeah, we'll remember it soon. <laughs> There's the timer. Um, I'm not sure how loud the game is. If it's loud enough? I had some trouble earlier. Also, I can turn the camera like this. And I can get bombs. 
And if I hold... No, that's not the button. There we go. If I hold B, then I can pick up a bomb. I'm, I'm still learning, by the way. <laughs> so don't mind me. Don't run into that. That would be bad. Hello? I want to talk to you. Hi, Bomber Man. This time, I'm going to teach you how to lift and throw. I thought they just taught people. B to lift. Press the B button again to throw. There are three distances you can throw, which can are determined by the amount of pressure you apply to the control stick. Hit enemies with the bomb to knock them unconscious. Unconscious enemies can be picked up and thrown. A tough enemy can be knocked unconscious, picked up and thrown into another area. Oops, I forgot to mention, use the C buttons to change the camera angle even while the game is paused. I'm having to learn all of this myself because you're not teaching me fast enough. I have to hold the B button in this one in order to do that. But I can quickly press A to increase the size of my bomb, aka the size of the blast. Also zoom in and zoom out the cameras. Good stuff. Why did I not lay a bomb? Oh, right, that's A. Sorry. But what is this? This is one of those switches, right? What does that do? Ah, see? I need to activate all four of them in order to get to the end. Mer. Anyways. <laughs> so I need to find three more switches. My gosh, I'm forgetting the controls. These bomb icons mean that I can drop more bombs if I gather them. The firepower means that... It's more explosive, so it does more damage, has a higher blast range. And I forget what those do, but I'm sure they're important. Really? I can't? Okay. I don't know what that was about. I feel like I need to knock this bird down, so... Give me a sec. This is probably useless. That was close. This isn't gonna work, is it? Okay, you know what? Never mind. I don't think the bird's important right now. Need to be moving this along, actually. I don't know exactly... How I'm going to be doing... Oh, this one takes more than one hit. But I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing this Let's Play. I will say this much. For those that do know... No, I am not trying to finish the game. That's a whole... That's a whole nother deal. I want to get into it, but... When we're talking about finishing the game, I'm talking about just seen the credits. Granted, I will play a lot of this game, but there's going to be a point later on where things kind of get complicated, to say the least. Uh, but for right now, let's just keep going. Some of these enemies may have items. I can't remember. Oh, you take three hits. Cool. I like that. No, he takes four hits. Yep. Definitely love that. Five hits. We can keep going. Oh my gosh. Six? Is six the right number? Oh good, they split the two. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. You're not worth it. Never mind. I'm not doing it. Luckily, apparently, these things can't kill me. They just stun me. And if Bomberman is stunned, then he can't move until he's not stunned, I guess. Uh-huh. Alright, well, let's try a bigger bomb. No, let's try a bigger bomb. Let me get out of the way for a moment. 
old twinkle toes didn't teach me how to do that. That did not work, but at least I tried. Bomberman basically only has one life, unless I collect those hearts that you notice. But if I fall off a cliff or into a river, that is game over. Where the heck am I going? I need to find switches. Here's the thing, there's a very, very important item that would be really good to locate. But I think the items are randomized whenever I enter and leave a stage. So that's not good for me, but once I find it, I'll talk about it. Right now, I guess I'm just, oh, hello. Oh, dang it, you. You do not show up in the best of places, now do you? This time, I'll teach you the bomb kick, which can be just as useful as the bomb throw we all may know. Kick bomb, stop using... Oh, here we go. When kicking a bomb, the bomb can be stopped using the R button. An enemy that hits is hit with the bomb will be knocked unconscious. You can kick a bomb along a wall or into a space between the walls. Try using this technique in different situations. So, let's see an example. People are gonna need to see what I'm doing first. Alright, so let's say I drop the bomb here and I just do that. But if I press the R button, boom! It will st- Wow, the enemy just disappeared. The M, excuse me, the bomb will stop in place. You saw this. Help. I'm just trying to prove the point. I think this is why Help. I couldn't figure out how to get further into this area. Because I bypassed this person multiple times. Cyrus, remember that name? So I was stuck in World 1 as a child for the longest of times. Luckily, I'm slightly smarter. <laughs> so now I need to just find one more switch. Bomberman, don't do that. By the way, I would love to show Bomberman just getting exploded, but... Right now, I'm trying to actually beat the game, or just beat this area. Um, speaking of... I'm going to teach you how to use the most important and powerful technique, the Pumped Bomb. Which, again, we already learned. A use for the Pumped Bomb is, by the way... Did... What? Did you notice the sound this blue column makes when you hit with a bomb? Yes. Objects come in three strengths. You can destroy them with a bomb, a pumped bomb, or a red pump bomb, I guess. Or maybe that is a pumped bomb, I don't know. Think of that sound as the sign that you, your bomb cannot destroy the object and you'll need a more powerful bomb. The support of this bridge can be destroyed with a pump bomb. Give it a try. Another use for the pump bomb is enemy with high HP can be squashed with a pump bomb. I guess that would have been nice to know. Pump bomb has more firepower and causes more damage. It'll be useful when battling a boss. Master this technique. Thank you. Okay, so... I know it's a little hard to believe it right now, but this game does get a whole lot harder. The difficulty spike is very much real. Especially, um, well, it will be a, become apparent once I get to the second stage, per se. But for right now... Oh. That's not gonna blow up in my hands, is it? Move it, move it, throw, 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 throw! Alright, we're good. So, uh, what was the point of destroying that bridge? You guys know? I don't know. And I'm the one that's played this game. Oh, well, there's one of those giant... One of those stupid turtle whammies. I keep pressing the wrong button. Try this. There we go. That was better. 
considering it took six regular bombs in order to destroy those things. I think this is probably a bad technique. Also, those uh, spots you're seeing up there, I'm probably not going to get to those for a while anytime soon. But I'm pretty sure they're important in some capacity. Now, where is that last switch? I don't, I don't know, but it's important I find it. I want to believe it's here, but I think I've done just about everything here. Right now, it doesn't seem like I can destroy the blue columns. I need something stronger than even the pumped bomb to do that. I'm just not sure what that would be. Alright, well, I can grab those. Now... Oh. Well... That could have helped, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Now, one other thing to mention is that... You can get these... Um, gold cards. We're probably not going to see any right now, but I believe there are five gold cards in every single stage. One of those gold cards can be achieved by being the stage quickly. Again, probably something we're not going to see right now. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's go talk to him. Yeah, here we go. That bird bigger? Eh, whatever. You've learned quite a bit. This time, I'll teach you a special move called the bomb jump. Oh dear. In an area like this, you'll need to use bombs to cross. You can cross over the next platform by using the bomb jump. Practice it here to get a hang of it. Next is the aerial bomb explosion. You'll need a remote bomb. That's what I'm looking for, the remote bomb. With this technique, you'll be able to destroy objects in the air. Throw the bomb and press the Z button while the bomb is at its highest point in the air. Use this technique as a bow in a bow with a boss. After you pick up a remote bomb, use it on the block that's in the air. If you master these two techniques, you should be able to handle any situation you encounter. Good luck. Thanks. I think this is required. So that's basically the bomb jump, but I only have... Uh -huh. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't seem like this is registering. Registering. Whatever the word is, the way it should. Oh, this is interesting. I'm not even sure if I'm doing the right thing. Quote unquote. Okay. Is this a gold card? No, it's the remote bomb. Here's the special thing about these. They do not go off at all until I press the ZL button. No matter what happens. No matter how much I kick and jostle them, as long as there isn't something else that causes them to explode, I can explode them myself. This is the most powerful and important item in the entire game. Still don't think it's gonna destroy those though. Oh, there's the switch. Wow. Wow, I wasn't even looking hard enough. Jeez. Alright, well, 20 minutes later. I'm finally gonna finish my first stage. But now that I got the remote bombs, I cut. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Luckily, I guess the water's shallow. So, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not dead. I would have been so beyond livid if I was dead, so. But if the water was any deeper, I would 
absolutely die. Or Bomberman would die, I should say. What's this? Another gem. I don't remember what the gems do. I gotta be honest. 69, nice. Uh, but anyways, let's just finish the stage. Oh, the fine number went away. There we go! Stage cleared! Not in any good record time, but... I think I still have time for stage two. This tiny little island. Why do I have time for stage two? Because stage two is a boss. Or mid-boss. Now, let's see how strong you've become. Friend or foe? Might be a little too early to be asking that question, actually. Oh, yes! And I just got a gold card. Uh-oh. With these bosses, you get gold cards. Get up, Bomberman. You get these gold cards by doing certain tasks, certain objectives, hitting the enemy in certain ways, or something like that. I think if I do this, not quite, I'll get a gold card that way. Oh, get up, Bomberman! I don't want to die yet! Oh, okay. <laughs> he hit himself. Better than I expected. Keep fighting like that. And you... I'm sorry about the microphone. You should be able to defeat them. Good luck! Only now I just noticed the microphone. I'm so sorry! Yeah. But there we go! Three gold cards plus one for beating the time. Like I said, there are five gold cards. Almost got all five in one go. That would have been really good. Now as for stage three, we are going to save that because every stage one and three is a main stage and every two and four is a boss stage. So I figure I go through half of each world each time I play. That is going to be my plan going forward. Do not ask me to get all the gold cards anytime soon. I will explain later. But until then, and until my next episodes, this has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I'll catch you later.